all your hand signals or anything. Let's get underway. Big Goose, can they rise to the occasion or is Juice Bands going to continue their tirade after top four in the last event? Well, we just had Big Goose also getting 3-0'd by Riot just earlier, so they're not off to the hottest start. And Hawk, really great air dribble, but well defended there, coming out of Goose early. Well, he's going to be the player we're looking for in Juice Bandits. They do rely heavily oh on the God, straight Hawk. mechanics of Hawk, and that's why <laughs> Hawk follows it up. Great read off the crossbar. Hawk has just hit the ball just every single, like, just far forward, turning, making it happen. Awesome shot there, somehow not in, but he read it the quick turn and starting out really nicely for him. I wish we could look at the scoreboard because I feel like neither Sprat or Zayn even got a touch of the ball on that <laughs> play. But that is what Juice Bandits is all about. You've got Zayn, you've got Sprat, Ooh. they hang back, and Schmoopinator is going to get it straight through them. Yeah, cheeky kickoff goal, getting a pass. Really nice control here. It's looking like he was getting the boost, maybe that faked out the defender, but top corner, perfect shot. I like it. I like a good start here. And if Big Goose can rely on the kickoffs, that may be a way to sneak wins, even against some of the best competition in the region. And I, I, I got to talk about Schmoopinator too. He's been a player around. He's made multiple top eights at this point, but he always feels like this massive overperforming player that just hasn't found quite the right team or the big break just yet. It's because of the cat ears, isn't it? You see the cat ears and you think like gold player. Plat Max, maybe. And then you see Shrubinator, he is impressive, you're right. So uh, I'm looking for him to keep improving and that dribble, very impressive. You know you just called out like every player in Twitch chat who is <laughs> or gold or whatever it is, or er and every single one who uses cat ears. So well done. Yeah, it's my thing. Are they even cat ears actually? They're something, but. Yeah, I, I want to see Shrippane doing doing big things. I think he's, uh, you know, exciting. Like you said, maybe a bit underrated. He's certainly been showing up consistently just outside that top eight. So maybe this is the team for him to push into it. I guess it's even a similar story with Sauer too, because I mean, he's not as as solid mechanically as, as Schmoopinator, but he's always gotten the results on every team that he's been on. He's always outperformed people's expectations. And maybe this is the team where he can finally get to stay on the team and develop throughout. We said it, it's been a positive thing seeing so many, uh, you know, all the top six teams sticking together. But at the same time, sometimes switching up these rosters, getting new kind of partnerships, it works out. We, we saw it in the last series with Bliss, uh, you know, especially Zen really picking up that team. Zuko really helping out his team as well. And maybe Big Goose being a little bit new can fix that. That being said, Juice Bandits right now have had some solid forward pressure and they've got the rotations going. A chance oh. here for Zayd. Is well kept out by Gig B Goose. They have been rising to the challenge. No! Oh. Why is that in? I thought that was going to be an easy save. Big cast of curse. <laughs> hey, Yummy, you have oh, to expect Toby. the floater to go in. <laughs> yeah, Toby not having his best day there. Where's the power of the beard? Oh no, it's gone over their heads for Big Goose. The Juice Bandits. As you said, they've been very consistent on day one. It's more been in those top eights that they've struggled to get a consistent performance. If they'll be able to do it here today, take down maybe Riot Gaming even after a potential here to beat the Big Goose, and they could already seal themselves in top six. Yeah, their, their eyes are certainly on that series, but you can see they're still, ooh, Zayn running out of boost to get that nice shot, but you can see just dominating the offense in this opening game. I really like this from Juice Bandits. The rotation's looking good. They're spreading out. They're not getting in each other's way. And I think that helps when you've got Hawk. Uh, sometimes has the tendency to cut in on his teammates. Now that there's a separation of movement, he knows when to go in. Yeah, they're looking very organized, just not getting in each other's way. Even like you were saying, Hawk being very aggressive still. Got that crazy first goal, just turning on the ball three times, but still keeping it smooth and able to get you know, somewhat of a boring goal like that. Even that's a great example of the solid rotations. It was just Hawk waiting behind. Zade was there, good communication as well. Juice Bandit certainly playing up to their standards. And that's important after we've had a very long break, a very long Christmas break. Uh, and even in the Sweden Major, a lot of teams kind of took a break uh, when they were back at home. So these guys are a little bit less practice than we'd normally see. It's difficult for players over the break. Like you're saying, most of them take a few weeks off. You come back and you're incredibly rusty. Everyone's forgotten how to play with each other. So just 
basic kind of play, not too fancy here, and looking to take that win when they are the favorites. Big Goose have been stuck on defense for most of this game. This is the chance here as Toby has Schmoop in it. Oh! Win. Gets the oh. <laughs> the last. Big Goose, Toby! So I don't know how he made that work. I mean, just faked, faked again, faked again, and then gets the awesome flick. Well played. The Actually, it's Trippinator with the beard. Toby, yeah. I don't know what, what's giving him his powers, but awesome dribble there. To be fair, I should have known that because I've seen Toby uh, in, a, in a music video he made once about playing basketball. So I should have recognized, but Juice Bandits, after, after all that work for a big goose, Juice Bandits get an easy one off the kickoff. You've been shouting out Liquipedia, Yummy. You're going to shout out the, the YouTube channel as well for him. <laughs> You're doing great things what, for the creators here. I don't here. what his YouTube channel is, but yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's a character, that Toby. Yeah, and uh, you know, they, they've uh, somewhat fallen to just the, the offensive pressure coming out of Juice Bandits here. Four goals. They certainly kept themselves in it, though. Uh, only a two-goal lead at the moment. Almost a one-goal game there, but certainly Juice Bandits really looking like the dominant team in offense. We've definitely seen that Big Goose have had to work a bit harder for their goals than Juice Bandits have thus far. We'll see if that does change. It's a passing opportunity again, but the touch going a little bit behind Schmoopinator, making it Hawk's play and Hawk's intercept. And Hawk doesn't quite get what he wanted to. Gives the turnover. Schmoopinator looking for the pass, but not able to get it. It looks like this game might fizzle out. Big Goose, they need a, a goal instantly, but it's looking like Juice Bandits are going to take this first game. Yeah, 12 seconds left to go. It's not going to be Juice. Uh, it's not going to be Big Goose's game, but Juice Bandits get off to a fire start. And Zay looking for one more for the road. No, it's not going to be enough, and go hit the ground. Juice Bandits take game one and begin their march towards playoffs. And like you said, yeah, I mean, they're, they're looking solid. Nice rotations. Uh, Hawk having a big split last time, but it certainly looks like they're all ready to get involved and try and play more as a team that generally helps them, uh, helps any team playing like that be more consistent. And as of note as well, the ramifications of this match, if Juice Bandits win, they're at least guaranteed a top three because they've already got one series win so that will get them into the playoffs and still give them a chance to get that first seed in the group if they can beat right in the in the end of the day where the goose they're trying to get their first series win and also put themselves in standing to get the playoffs uh, but can't right now or well, very unlikely to make a number one seed run Big goose they're also just looking for their first win at the moment as well mm -hmm. so they're really looking to yeah, make. First game win. Yeah, first game win. Just struggling, getting goals on the board, which is nice, but they're going to need a little bit more, especially in defense, to uh, shut this Juice Bandits offense down. To be fair, their first series was against Riot Gaming, and they can be a tough team for some of the lower teams to steal even a single game from due to their defensive play style. Uh, whether I think Juice Bandits, they've got a bit more offense. There's more chance of a, a counter-attack, and that's why we saw a couple of goals here from Big Goose. And this is a great play by Toby. Yeah, just faking, what, three times there. Just absolutely doing whoever <laughs> came in for that final challenge. I still don't know what that guy was seeing, but Toby, uh, Toby knew what was up. I think it was Zane, but uh, it was really solid because he had such a strong passing position from Schmoopinator that meant that the defender had to worry about the pass. And in fact, I thought the pass was coming. So uh, I'm not surprised that the defender did as well. But game number two underway here. Big Goose need to fight back in this series. Yeah, and they really need to do it through their defense. Two goals on Juice Bandits, that's impressive. That's more than enough to win a game, but they can't be letting in four. Hawk out of defense. And they're going to be Hawk forward. He's the one who'll set up a goal for this Juice Bandits roster. You see Sprat and Zay move back as soon as the play turns against them. So Juice Bandits, every single time that they have a touch on the ball, they've got a little space, and Sprat gets the extra touch, but no chance for Zay to follow. No chance just yet, but you can see they're still pressuring Big Goose. They're not quite able to get this clear out as easily as they want. Hawk is cutting forward and making it more awkward, but Gig Goose, Big Goose, look like they've been able to recover. I like that, Gig Goose, the new team name, but 
Juice Bandits here have had the majority of the possession. It's more been about Big Goose just trying to stop Faze to get the challenges. And that can make Another it very dribble. difficult to keep your boost sour if he had any in the tank. I think that would have been a very likely goal. Even still, he's done great here. He's even stealing the boost away. Juice Bandits still have plenty in the tank, but less so because of that one play. Schmoobadine gets the oh. shot, and he snuck it past. Yeah, that was all from Sauer. Like you said, big boost steal. Sprat getting that air dribble, not able to clear it the way he needed to. And Shroopinade, a great fast goal there to start. get the lead in uh, this uh, second game. Only a minute 15, and the first lead here now for Big Goose. We're in a very solid position here, and I really like that it was a, a long, drawn-out, boost-stealing play rather than a counter-attack or, or a mistake coming out from Juice Bandits. Mm -hmm. it, shows, it shows impressive rotations. It shows uh, a somewhat consistent kind of goal to be able to score, not relying on a mistake from the other team. So promising from Big Goose, but again, they led in four goals last game. They've done what they needed to to take a win here with one goal as long as they can hold on. Yeah, I like that from Sour as well, challenging in the midfield. That's going to be the big difference, not giving any space to the likes of Hawken and, and Sprat as well. I think he's got a great solo play under his belt when he's got some room. And he hasn't had that chance just yet. Now on the counter-attack, a potential here for Big Goose as Schmoopinator now left. Last man back, has to defend against two, maybe even three, and does well. Gets it across to Sour at the same time out of defense. Just looking so much more organized, Big Goose are in defense. Juice Bandits not really able to threaten them too much yet. They're not looking as confident. You can see they're even starting to throw themselves at the ball. So maybe getting a little desperate. There's still plenty of time left in this game. Sprat hangs in the back corner. It's a solid 50 that works in the favor of Big Goose, but Sprat's going to be first up. Sauer is a little worried about challenging that one, and that's expected. He is a bit more of a passive player, waits for the play to happen, and then responds, and that usually leads him to be a bit more on the defensive side. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Juice Bandits, they're starting to look a bit more composed, but not really having the boost to do anything about it either. So Big Goose doing those off-the-ball kind of boost steals, passing, keeping that pressure, and just making it hard for Juice Bandits to do anything with the ball. sauer has been great when he's been on the ball too. He's really looking for passing opportunities for cross-field plays, and that's making it difficult for Juice Bandits to truly deal with. What, what a save. save out from Sauer as well. He's working it at both ends right now. Oh, another chance. Sour again with the intercept. Yeah, they're looking to hold on to this one goal lead. They've fixed the defense. Hawk, oh, great blip reset pass to make that happen. Doesn't get much better than that. Hawk, one, two, and the flip reset over to Sprat. And, what and a confidence. steal. <laughs> he gets the steal. <laughs> he gets the steal somehow as well. So well played uh, there for Hawk. They'll have a laugh at that one too. But I mean, that's part of the reason why Hawk does manage to get. Uh, the top goal scorer, he's been the top goals per game across the entire split and uh, last season in the first split he played. He's only just turned 15 uh, at the end of last season and now he's already having a huge impact. Yeah, super aggressive player with the mechanics to match, although missing that opportunity, but Sprat mm -hmm. follows it up and Big Goose two minutes away from winning and now they have some making up to do. Oh, Shmoopinator a bit late up to that one, took us too much time and Hawk just disrespected. He was just like, I can win, win the race to this ball. And that sets up the opportunity for Juice Bandits. Yeah, nice goal as well from Sprat. Coming in from a pretty difficult angle. We'll see, is there another kickoff goal opportunity? But no, Zade is back. And Juice Bandits looking a lot more confident now that they got the lead back. Well, Zade is looking for the double. Nice to see Hawk leave that one back for Sprat. But Sprat was not oh, ready for it. Oh, it's a bit no. awkward here. And Sprat just has to stop that from touching his own backboard just to keep the defense alive just to keep his team in it and they've worked it beautifully out the pitch all three Ooh. connecting to, for a very quick counter-attack and Big Goose still haven't set into defense there's still a chance here for Juice Bandits to get a sealer with a second uh, goal lead yeah the, the this game has certainly turned around Juice Bandits looking so confident now and Big Goose just struggling to get any touches on the ball Juice Bandits playing very quick trying to shut them out but there's still 30 seconds left and a good pass but Hawk back and ready to defend that. 
Spratt off the roof, looking for the double, leaves it for Hawk at the same time. Great communication, it goes across to Zane, and that should be enough. Juice Bandits get the 3-1. Yeah, and that, that was coming, just great play from Juice Bandits, just making Big Goose panic time and time again. Toby throwing his head back into frustration, I don't blame him, that looked like a difficult passage to go through. I'm liking this from Juice Bandits, they're still relying a lot on Hawk to make these plays, but they're kind of not crossing paths at the same time. And speaking of crossing paths, Sauer rushing to the front post, and he's put this one in. Oh, Sauer. It happens. There wasn't much time left, but it wouldn't be OC without an own goal. <laughs> oh, it's happening. And, and, and you know what? It's been happening a lot in RL side swipe too. And Sauer, if you guys didn't know, he's now one of the top RL side swipe players in the region as well. He just won the last 2v2 tournament. Wow, very uh, multi-talented guy here, but it's not enough to take out <laughs> Let's keep talking about this side game swipe for Big Goose's sake. <laughs> it was really close for a second here, and now Drew Spence have a four-goal lead. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it just fell apart a little bit. Big Goose had an awesome chance to win this game, but they really need to recompose going into game three. It's going to be very, very tough. I mean, Juice Banners, again, we keep talking about it. They are such a good, solid team on that day one. They've consistently taken down the likes of Riot Gaming, uh, one of their biggest rivals on those day ones. And they are very, very tough to take down. Look at them, calm, composed, except for Sprat. He's already <laughs> running off for I'm not, I'm not sure what reason. Yeah, he's got some toilet mechanics going on or something. <laughs> he's he's run, speed running to complete whatever task he's doing there. Uh, yeah, Juice Bandits looking solid. Uh, definitely looking forward to seeing them uh, you know, in that big rivalry up against Riot and how that's gone over the, old, the break. But it's certainly looking like they've... Like you're saying, relying less on Hawk and, and being a bit more of a rotational team. I like it. They're, they're spreading out more. They're making it less, uh, I guess, confusing on when Hawk should go in, when he's going to cut, that kind of thing. So it, 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 usually the biggest problem with Juice Bandits is going to be a double commit between Hawk and, and someone else behind, not understanding who's going to rotate in next. And you can see it working out because they've had multiple times where a goal has come from a three-man sort of follow-up play. Yeah, and you need that. You need that kind of consistency. Uh, you can't just rely on one player. They can only really have 100 boost and a certain amount of players to beat at a time. So it's great to see Juice Bandits rounding out that offense. You're saying that uh, you'd really like to see Hawk with 300 boost? I think that'd be awesome, I mean, <laughs> personally. I reckon he'd do amazing with it. Yeah, in terms of, you know, solo plays, Hawk has been doing great in the three scene of late. And Juice Bandits... As they've kind of been alluding to, are trying to push towards their top four. They got their first top four last split. If they can do it again in this split, then we'll be in a solid position. That's a great way to celebrate. <laughs> off. They're glad to see he's back. Game number three. And, and Sprat's back to try and get the 3-0. Yeah, and we, we want to see Big Goose start this game strong. Maybe get that first goal again, because that, that really felt like they had Juice Bandits on the back foot for a while there, but just not able to hold on to that lead in game two. Big Goose have to get out of there in defense. We saw some solid play in the first half of the last game for them. Once they got possession of the ball, but you can see what Sprat's doing now. He's keeping it away from all the Big Goose members. It's created an opening. Say gets it across, and that is perfectly positioned for Hawk. Yeah, they get it in, somehow finding his way around it. Just Big Goose not able to deal with this kind of speed and the follow-up. So you can see Juice Band is just so aggressive to push that in. That's incredibly tough as well for Zay to get the pinch across and not actually accidentally send it to the moon, not to accidentally send it too far. So very difficult setup for Zay, more difficult than it looks. And Juice Band is just continue on. That's not another five goals in a row now. Yeah, Juice Bandits is looking very strong. We need Big Goose. They, we don't want to see this game just running away too early. We want to see Big Goose getting that confidence. And we really saw it when, when they are getting the, especially that boost starving. They can get goals on the board against Juice Bandit. Good follow-up player from Sprat. An extra pinch towards the back. Well, that's a goal. That was a goal. Sprat managed to get the double tap. 
and get the pitch at the same time, and it set it up for Hawk. Yeah, and then Hawk is just so ready for it, pushing forward, and you can see Big Goose, no one expects Hawk to be ready there to push it in, but he somehow knows Sprat's going for that crazy pinch play and knows it's gonna work. Knows it's gonna work. It's almost a telepathic link between Sprat and Hawk, and even Zayn and Hawk earlier on. It just seems that Hawk is always in front of their net, ready to finish off a goal. Yeah, Hawk just being very aggressive. Now Zayn's getting his own chance. Big Goose there, really trying to be fast in defense, but they're still getting beat. Rock, oh, you knew he was hitting that double, and so did the defender, but they weren't perturbed. They were able to get that clear out. Now Big Goose with their first real opportunity, but Toby can't get a pass without the boost available, and you can see that. They had to run all the way back to their back corner boost to get anything Ooh. in the tank, and it might be a goal. Oh! Safe down. All three members of Band has had a chance, but Big Goose just hold on. Yeah, Big Goose realizing they need quick recoveries against Juice Bandit because it's one after the other after the other, and then the fourth player comes in for Juice Bandits. They're just relentless. And it really feels like Big Goose are not getting the chance to set up a two-man play, and you see it again. They wanted to push forward, and they get taken out. Another goal for Hawk. Yeah, Hawk just having fun now, just pushing forward. Big Goose, you can't blame them. They need to make, they need to push forward. They need to get goals on the boards, but they just aren't able to solidify any kind of pressure at the moment. Sour, he, he needs a bit of support in that front end. We haven't seen Big Goose be able to push two people up. I haven't seen them be able to get the passing plays. They're relying a lot on those solo plays, on the slower plays, and most of the time, that's been defendable. That's oh, what we want. No. The pass oh, no! Toby went soaring past that goal. That needed to go in. Crossbar down and out is tragic here for Big Goose and Sprat pre-jumps. Sprat, oh. oh! What is that? Oh my goodness! How does Hawk get the pre-jump? This is a double pre-jump. Sprat over to Hawk. It's not quite the double pre-jump, but he was on the backboard and he seals it for his fourth. I don't blame you for thinking that was a pre-jump because I don't know who's on the backboard in that situation. <laughs> apparently Hawk is and apparently knows he knows exactly how to get the ball redirected behind him for just an excellent goal steal. It was a great goal steal. Why not let Sprat have it? He went, he pre-jumped so early, got the angle, but Hawk wants to be the highest goal scorer of the season like he was uh, in that last split as well. So. He's, he's doing a great job of it right now. Yeah, good way to keep that up by stealing your teammates' <laughs> goals. So really well played here from Hawk and just so much confidence coming out of Juice Band. It's having fun near the end of this series. And the double demo for Hawk. That's left it wide open. Gets Bracket there in time. He does. It's a 5 0 now for Juice Bandits. And Hawk couldn't figure out how to steal this one. I'm sure he'll make a note of it for next time. And 5 0, big goose. It's just struggling so badly in this game three. Uh, it looks so good for like three minutes for Big Goose. I felt like if they played the same way they did early on in game two throughout the entire series, yeah. we would have seen really solid results. But that is very hard to keep up against the quality of Juice Bandits, to be able to always keep possession, try and steal the boost away from them. Eventually, they're going to get control and, and take the boost away from you. That, that is what the, the best teams do in this region. They just they don't let the other team play their game. and You can really Ooh. see it, Shrupinator. Getting a nice double touch, probably a consolation, but showing he does have, uh, you know, the skill that Juice Bandits have been showing on, on his goal. Well, Shrupinate has been the one to step up for Big Goose throughout the series as well. A bit of a miss there from Zayd, which is a bit disappointing. Wouldn't want to end off the series like that, but maybe we'll be able to score another goal to make up for it. In fact, oh, Sprad didn't go straight for the shot on the open net. Yeah, maybe having a little bit of mercy here, but Big Goose, they're, I mean, they're sure, surely going to be wanting to get more goals on the board. Wanting to have fun near the end. You can see Shrubinator coming off the backboard, doing his best Hawk impression, but not able to connect. Big Goose now have 55 seconds. That's not going to be enough for them. So they're going to be hoping to score a goal here, get the push up. And we're already seeing a bit more confidence coming out from them in these final dying moments. 
Yeah, it's what you want to see. You don't want to see a, a team just go out, just looking so flat, so defeated. They they knew they were underdogs coming into this. Uh, certainly, Juice Bandits have played awesomely. Big Goose have the drawing board to get back to for a possible rematch in the future. But it, it's great to see them still trying to get these goals on Juice Bandits after letting in five of their own. And Juice Bandits are trying to get that number one seed. And they're going to be confident up against Riot Gaming. So just getting this win and getting it really solidly is going to be a great warm-up and a great lead-up to that final series, which will be Bandits versus uh, Riot. Mm -hmm. and six seconds ago, Just Bandits getting their final opportunity, but just kind of flopping in front of the net. This Actually might be able to get it in. Big Goose possibly putting their controllers down and just excellent performance here coming out of Just Bandits. Good to see Zaid get on the board as well for this goal. He's done, he's done some great setups. He had the great pass earlier on. Gets this to the final goal. Juice Bandits take the win. They 3-0 Big Goose. Yeah, Big Goose. 9 0 the qu the close qualifier. Looking awesome. But when it comes up against, you know, that top eight, that top six in OC, mm -hmm. you can see there definitely is still a skill gap to close. Yeah, there really is a huge skill gap kind of top eight down, down even uh, into that depth below there. But I think we'll see Big Goose back. Uh, obviously, they've still got more today, but I think we'll see them back in following weeks. And Bass, are you expecting the same thing as me, that Big Goose are continually going to get better? I think that they are. I mean, they showed signs of life there in that series. The unfortunate truth is it didn't really ever feel like they kind of carried that momentum. It seemed like the entire time Juice Bandits kind of carried the momentum they built early on in the series. And mm -hmm. the more confidence they had, the better the goals got. Or, well, I don't know if I'd say better the goals got or maybe more one-sided they got. <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, it was tough. Juice Bandits just playing very fast. It's really not letting Big Goose really sh show what they're made of, except in that game too, we certainly saw Big Goose getting that early lead, looking very confident. Juice Bandits on the back foot, but overall Big Goose just not able to play the game they wanted to. They, they had their moments, but in the end, I think this is a good sign for Juice Bandits in terms of being able to play aggressively, being uh -huh. able to spread out, not getting in each other's way, and kind of still allowing Hawk to perform at the same time. Because you can yep. you can take steps back to try and prevent double commits, but can sometimes get in the way of that star player trying to get the goals. Yeah, the, the improvement will really help from them. And I think the, the better teams in the region are able to shut down Hawk a little bit better as yep. well. So I think playing more as a team will help them uh, in those final days where those, you know, the prize pool, the big point differentials, it's, it's way more important to get those wins there. And Bass, are you starting to kind of believe again 